Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Made by Marsha Mom. Second time recording because somehow it got corrupted. I don't even know where to start. <clears throat> I will start, I guess I'll start backwards. One, the puppies were interrupting the last video. Anyways, I'm Marsha, by the way. And this is Made by Marsha Mom where I share all my crafty goodness. And mostly forget to name yarn patterns because that's what I do. I crochet, I sew, I work on my Cricut, so I do paper crafting now. I'm getting ready for a craft show in October, my first one, which is going to be nerve-wracking. Um, presently, I do not work outside the home. I'm a stay-at-home puppy mom slash grandma, and, but I have to um, seriously look for a job because I'm down to $5, a <laughs> little less than $5. So I'm going to have issues. I'm going to have to sell something for money. Um... Anyway, so let's start backwards from the last video because then maybe I won't get confused and think I've already said it. I made, I sewed the girls' new outfits. There's number outfit number one. I'm very proud of this because this is recycled from a pair of jeans. That's why the hem is like well worn. Um, love the top. Had a hard time. They kept interrupting me when I was sewing. So this is crooked. So I can't sell this outfit. But there's one. Then, I mean, her, her tatas aren't hanging out because I made her a tube top. Sometimes, oh, this is probably, the, the top was a simplicity pattern. Probably the pants too. But I wasn't smart enough to bring that out and they're up there and I'm not getting them. But this no pattern because that's just a skirt. They're really easy to make and I put some lace on it. Again, recycled denim. Made her a little vest. Matching fabric. And a tube top because I forgot what this originally was, but I went, oh, it's a tube top now because I messed up on her. Um, oh, this was a ruffle to something. And I went, um, I'll just make her a tube top because the vest didn't cover as much as I wanted. So she needed something underneath. <laughs> so there's that. Then my third baby, she has the same pattern. This is like a tunic that was in there. Put a little lace down the front. So all three of them have the same fabric. So they all kind of match. And it's fall colors. So I can get myself through the rest of the summer. And oh, probably till October. till I have to change them. <laughs> so there's that. I'm still debating about whether I want to um, do any 18 inch doll clothes for the um, craft fair. Not sure. Then starting backwards. Um, seems to be the end thing. Um, Amaneko. I guess. I don't know. I just found a pattern somewhere free online. I, he don't have any legs, so I have to finish him. But I just wanted to show that, yes, I have one too, Rel. I have one too. Um, oh, who just had the video? I can't remember her name. The cat one. Um, cats? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so that's my kitty. So they can go back up on the shelf. And then... I've been doing a ton of stuff, and I took it all out, and I put it all away. Now i got to redo it, because when I went to unload it, upload this to Filmora, it said corrupted. And I and I knew my phone cut, because I didn't erase anything. So, oh, let's go this way, the no pattern thing. No pattern octopi. Oops. Two eyes. They're actually on upside down, because this is actually the bottom... Katie wanted me to add a bow, so I did, because she's not feeling well. she got an earache. I'll go into that and life stuff, but one, one amigurumi. Oh, I should, actually. Oh, excuse me, because I've already done this video. Um, let's go to, see, I, I threw everything on the floor, but then I realized that my file was corrupted. Snake comes from... Big book of little amigurumi. Um, page, I don't know. Page, 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 page. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm going to yawn again. Put the book in front of my face. So I could yawn since my hands are full. There we go. It's supposed to be longer. I'm going to give you a hint because the directions just say to put this stuff together. Um, when I cut my little felt tongue, I still have, when I'm putting in the eyes, I put in the tongue in the mouth. Um, I pull that felt through inside the head, if you know what I'm saying, 
and then inside the head I take a needle and thread actual sewing thread and I sew about oh that much that much of the of the tongue into the backs of the stitches so that you can't pull this out because my first couple that I made for some friends they they, they were not good I didn't figure that part out I didn't make it as long as it's supposed to be um, but it's a really cute snake I'm gonna make a few of these they don't take long they're just this is long but it's only like it's supposed to be eight stitches if you notice he's lumpy because sometimes when I'm going around and around I pick up stitches <laughs> too but anyways nobody's seen this before that's gonna be at the craft fair so they don't know there's any mistakes so we're just gonna pretend ah, no mistakes all right I think that's all I had on that book I think all right then go down oh excuse me now I'm saying now it's gonna be the yawn video because I got through this I had a few puppy interruptions but other than that, it was a pretty good video, and I lost it all. So let's start with my friend. Oh, sorry that I had to bend down, but I threw all this stuff on the floor because I was done with it. So I was like, ta-da, and thrown on the floor, just like um, Crafty Crocheter does. She, like, throws it on her bed. Well, anyways, I just want to take a moment to say, hi, Randy, because if this is not Randy and Inspired. I don't know if I showed these on the last video. I know I posted them on Facebook. Took me forever to make Randy's Norwals. They are so cute. But um, this is how I do her pattern. Because it's free on her channel. But see, I had to write it out in my shorthand so I can make them. So I have those two. I'll put that over there. Then, not that this is Randy's pattern, but anybody who sees this is going to think of Randy. I made two zero lovies because it's an October craft fair. Notice that my zeros have orange noses because fun fact, fun fact is the light up part of zero's nose is actually a jack-o'-lantern. Um, if you watch the Tim Burton extras on the video, um, yeah, it's actually a jack-o'-lantern. So mine are going to be orange because <laughs> I'm that way. My pattern, however, came from, it's a free pattern by Jamie Hackleford, called the Zero Lovey, L-U-V-I-E. It's on Ravelry. Can you see that? And you can print it out. I don't know if it took it. I don't know if I printed it out from Ravelry or somewhere else, but yeah, it's like four pages. So, and really use your stitch markers because where she starts, if you don't do your decreases exactly where they go, this, that the face is not going to shape like this. It just won't. It's it's important. So, and she even tells you that in the pattern. All right, so that's done. And I'm probably talking fast because, gosh darn it, the last video was like 40 minutes and, whoa. Next. All right, get in the book because I dropped it on the floor. Hello Kitty book because how can you resist? Um thing I like about this book though is all the hello all the characters are basically made the same it says make basic head make basic ears make basic body anyway so this this is the kitty I always start out doing even though it's just basic that head feet arms legs um I made two hang on I made two so far there they are this one is made with uh, thinner weight yarn and this one is made with regular weight yarn and even though, as you can tell, they change colors, I uh, don't do that. I just make a little dress. And my dresses, I think I've said it before, I just, you know, make a little bodice. Is that what you call it? Mm, yeah, I guess. And some straps. I fit it around. I sew it up the back. Like, you can remove this, but it would probably wreck the dress. I don't have it sewed onto the character. I just have it sewn in the back. Because I'm not, I'm not about the buttons. And I'm not about making removable outfits because then people say, oh, could you make a different color? No, no, no. I could. I could do a custom order, but I'm going to charge you for the whole kitty. I'm not making kitty outfits because, but there they are. They're so cute. Purple, blue. This, um, like I said, the purple yarn is this stuff. I know you'll recognize it. I don't have the ball band and I apologize. It's that really thin, thin stuff that everybody, it's that imitator sock yarn. It's real soft and squishy. So... It actually fits Amigurumi better, but the other one, this is um Mainstay Walmart yarn. It's over there on the floor. I don't feel like getting it because then I'll have to moon you. No, I'm actually wearing shorts, but I don't want to get up. 
Um, it's the regular worsted weight. It's like a denim -y color. See the bow is much bigger. So that's these two. Got those done. Got that book done. All right, bending over again. Because apparently that's what I do. A few weeks ago, I talked about this little lovey. And I said, oh, it's in one of them books. And I always, I'm the horrible one about the books. It's actually in this book. Crochet One Skein Wonders. It's, oh, I put the book in front of my face because I'm yawning. Uh, again, the yawn. The yawn podcast. That's what I do. It's supposed to look like this and it's all attached, but I, you know, it's just supposed to be Red Heart Super Saver in one skein and they actually take the head right to the blanket. But I didn't do that because I changed colors. And what I do like is on both my Zero Lovies and this, this is that four, four stitch granny square. And then I forgot what I did around the edge. I think it might be in the pattern. I don't know. But I didn't do zero that way. But there's that one. But it came out of that book. And speaking of this book, I thought I'd put a bookmark in it. I probably lost it. Because oh, I made something else. I want to show you because you all get a laugh out of it. Because Marsha is very bad about following directions. But I actually think I followed the directions in this one. I know it's in here. Okay, here. Oh, I did have the bookmark in it. I attempted to make this in a cute looks really easy just simple you know here it is I made it on a different weight yarn so mine is bigger I I knew that was gonna happen but what I didn't know about is like I think the pattern screwed up because it had sorry start again I got a text message but um anyway so I was talking about this dress out of this book and um I made different weight yarn but anyways i went to do the armholes and there's there has to be a mistake in the pattern because i reread it and redid it and it says you know to do the chains and it tells you about how many of these little shells to do on those chains when you're doing the sweater part and it says to mark off for the sleeve and i did when i went to make the sleeve it makes this big huge gigantica sleeve it's not very attractive and when I tried to reduce it down, it made like a muscle man, like it was a big muscle and then really thin. And I went, you know what, this might just become, and I know I use gray thread and babies don't wear gray dark like this, but some babies do. So I'm thinking I might just put some buttons in the back and call it a dress and call it done. And they can wear a onesie under it and it'll be done and that'll be it. But I don't know. So there's that. Throw that on the floor. I also made myself a little crochet basket. No pattern. I was just playing last night cotton yarn because I need to get my little plastic container back from my um, Wonder Clips because I need it for something else. So I wanted a cute little handmade thing. So there we go. And let's go into... Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. Oh, oh. Maybe I need more coffee. I don't know. Lack of oxygen. Meanwhile, I did make another can holder pencil thing and I did put a little extra in there to hide the little part. I don't know what to do about this. I ain't painting nothing. <laughs> Great English, huh? Pumpkin from last time. Ooh! I'm in the middle of a new one. I do like this pumpkin color better and I have a little bit left. So I might make a couple pumpkins for the craft fair. Plus, that's like the title of it. It's called the pumpkin... Pumpkin... Pumpkin Patch Craft Show. So, I might do this for table decor. I don't know. But if somebody offers to buy it, I'm selling. <laughs> so, there's those. Um, That's a whip. But, uh, I just dumped a whole basket of stuff. <sighs> All right. I'm going out of order now. I talk about the snake. I did talk about the snake. Gosh, I can't remember. Anyways. Meanwhile, while I'm gathering this stuff, um, this is the card I got from Madonna, which I forgot to talk about last time. But I did put it on my wall, and it's got to go over on my wall of fame because I have, like, Crafty Flirty in there. That's a note from Z right there. There's my birthday card. That's from Ella from a long time ago. And then, oh, oh, there's a um card right there. I forgot who that's from because I'm a horrible person. But this is going to go over there now that I talked about it. Um... Now, 
Amber, ooh, ah, crochet is collecting stuff for her, her kids. And I think I showed a couple of bookmarks and stuff. I'm still working that through. Um, and I had a couple hats that I made a while back that I found when I was digging through stuff. And I left them out. And my puppies got a hold of them. And they ate the pom-poms. So I had like four hats and they wrecked them. So including one that was made with that um, Isaac Marahi, Marazzi, whatever his name is expensive yarn that would have had to been hand washed anyways but it was purple and it was really pretty it had some gold in it and i made the cowl and the hat and it had a little flower on it and i was going to send it to amber and the puppies ate it and it's got like i don't know i'm gonna excuse my eyes i have something wrong with my eyelids like i looked it up i don't want to get my health issues never mind i'm not going to talk about it but they itch so if i itch my eyelids are really bad um anyways so here's a hat <clears throat> i'm going to send to amber and I'm going to send these headbands to her, too, because, like, it's leftover yarn. And they're kind of cute. So I'm going to send those to her. And then, I don't know if she can use this. Amber, tell me if you want it. Um, this is like Hannah's pattern for the, um, it's a cowl or a hat or a ponytail hat. You draw the drawstrings. It came out of, and I'm sorry, see, I can't do all the patterns all the time. I do believe... <clears throat> this is out of, it's either a magazine or my other One Skein Wonder book, but I will look it up for next time. But anyways, it might be a little holy, but I make a good cowl. But, and it was so easy. It was such a fast make. Because I love shell stitches. This is like a split shell. It's very cool. Anyway, so, I have that for her and the bookmarks. And, um... Yeah, I already had to split this video because of a text message. I was like, I've only been talking five minutes. That's crazy. All right, so that. And then I had those bookmarks and stuff. And <sighs> now I figure a way I'm going to get it to her. Anyway, so now go into my scrubbies. I made a bunch of them. I think I made them too big. This yarn came from... Um, that Annie's Club I was in that I quit. That I think, like, Creative Grandma's in now. But, I'm telling you. And you start, they start repeating the yarn, so I'm not ever going to do it again. But, it's softer cotton than this stuff. But I made these. These scrubbies. Facial scrubbies. More of these. I made some square ones. I don't know. And then... Those, I think they're all supposed to be this size, but they all got bigger because, I don't know, I was watching too much TV, so. They're all cotton, and I did improve my facial scrubby box, if y'all remember. They look like this, and they had these flowers. I've added flowers to all of them. Shall we take a quick tour? We shall. But let me get rid of these. I'm telling you. What a mess. So, I have this one. Can you see? And this one. See, this one, I took the flowers off the top. So I've got those. This one. And the difference in the flowers that are yellow. Let me see, do I have... Oh! I started doing the... Um, oh, you can almost see on this one. It's called um, Distress Ink. So I started doing that on them. I think they look more like sunflowers that way. And I don't... Does this one have it? That one has it too. Makes them more dimensional. So I did a bunch of those like that. Oh, here's here's the comparison. See, this one doesn't have it. So it looks kind of cartoony. This one does have it. It's the same, but it's different. See? So, um, so I have a bunch of those. Oh, and this is, oh my goodness. These are all cut from my Cricut. And they all basically had the same flower on them, kind of, sort of. Yeah, here's a one. Here's a red one with a blue button, and then a yellow one with a purple button because the purple button actually matches the ink. So I think that's all of those. Let me uh, make some room here because you guys basically already saw these boxes. I just put flowers on them because between the Cricut cutting the flowers. And I got a flower punch, flower punch thingy. And I can't decide which flowers I like better. Got that, put these back. Um, 
new pattern from Cricut. These, now these, they look like little milk cartons, but they're not closed. Um, ugh. Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. These boxes here, they look a little more spring than fall because, I, you know, I was doing for a craft fair, not necessarily the craft fair that I got into. So, I got these, and I'm playing with design. So, I think that's all of them. So, they all kind of look like this. They all say different things, like, for you, hello, friend. They open up, they tie with a little ribbon at the top. These, I think I'm going to put, I don't know if somebody's home or not. Um, see if they have this much depth. A tea bag and a, like a biscotti cookie in it. Little gifts for friends or office or co-workers. So, let's just see those. Throwing them back in the box. There's those. There's those. And then these are all over the internet. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these. I only made four because you get four out of a sheet of paper. But these are called bag in the box. And like, oh, you put a treat inside the baggy part and then you can put like, some, tuck something else in there. I don't know that I like these, but I played with them because, you know, that's what I do. I play with paper now and glue and hot glue. So there's those. All right, so that's that. That's a carrot paper. We got the dolls, we got the snakes, we got the pumpkins, we got the that. Now, other fun stuff. I've made, with hot glue, these cute little altered paper clips. They're so cute, excuse my tummy. This one was really cool. That's the same flower, but, and see, Cricut cut that out for me. I like my Cricut. And these bows are made with, um, envelope punch board so there's those I mean I can make bows on Cricut but they want you to print and cut them and I don't like doing all that so there's those and then I posted on Facebook wait till you see these little guys these are my I don't know if I'm up I, I don't know I might send these to Amber as bookmarks aren't they cute I had this stuff laying around like this is the scrap of my neon yarn and these little puff balls my daughter gave them to me with a bunch of crafts when I was in Virginia and um I didn't know what to do with them and I saw something on here where somebody used ribbon in the back but I went <clears throat> I don't have the right color ribbon so look at that they're so cute so and I have a few more puffy balls and I thought I use my teeny tiny, um, my teeny tiny, what do you call it, um, pom-pom maker. If I could do something like that with the pom-pom maker, with the eyeballs, because I have a ton, a ton. So, Amber, if you need any, um, googly eyes, let me know. I'll throw them in the box, but let me know, because if not, I will use them. But if I have, like, a box in a bag, and I have more than I'll ever need, but, so I have those made those and where am i going to put these i'll put those in there then i redesigned the packaging well i didn't have packaging but now i have packaging for my handmade washcloths or dishcloths look at that purple and purple teal and teal but unfortunately i'm running out of um cotton yarn i have that much left of that color and i I don't know if I have that green color left, but I do have something I could frog if I need to. So, there's that. There's those. And then, like, yeah, because see, even the white one, it's, it's just smaller in the package. Oh, and I made, can I show you these? I must have. Then, what else? I'm only at, well, I'm at 12 plus the other video that got cut off. I'm trying to think, because um, I did this so fast. I hope everybody's doing well um things over here have been a little weird like my um my washer and my washer broke so i had to go to the laundromat then um we got a pool so i got a sunburn so i'm itchy from that well that happened first we got the pool <laughs> and then the, of course something had a break something that we needed so then i spent 
think it was Friday at the laundromat, 40 freaking dollars, um, down the toilet. So then we got a new washer and dryer. And then, well, this weekend my brother passed, and I'm not going to go into too much of that. Let's just say that um, because of my family is the way it is, one, my nephews didn't find out that their dad passed until he passed. They didn't get a chance to say goodbye to him, which is another story. Um, my cousin, who shall remain nameless, but he knows who he is, because if he watches this video, he needs to stay out of it, because we are not his family. We are his relatives. He needs to stay out of it. Um, and um, I hope my nephews are um, are making peace with what they have to make peace with. Um, I'm all right. I mean, we're none of us are invited to the funeral because that's the way my family is. But that's all I'm going to say. But I do want to thank everybody for all their well wishes on Facebook. Um, it, it gets, uh, I don't know how I feel about it. So that's enough talk about that. So it's just been a weird, like I'm hearing from siblings that I haven't heard from that, you know, I live 1800 miles away from them. So like, I don't mind. I, I'm in contact with one sister basically, I guess. So anyways, um, like my nieces and nephews, I like them better. I can't, I can't help it. But, um, anyways, um, so I think I talked about Katie. Katie's got an earache. So she's on medicine. So she can't go in the pool. So it's been kind of crazy cranky around here. And, um, but like I said, thanks everybody. I want to say hi to Pat. Um, back in Michigan. That's my real family in Michigan, Pat. I want to say hi to my Emmett because Emmett watches me when he's cranky. And I hope he's doing good. He's got an earache too, I think. Um, and I also... Even though I wanted to have a whole list, I don't have a whole list because I keep losing it. I do want to give a shout out. Now, if you like my crafty stuff, and if you like DIYs, and if you want to learn about another country, and things, and weather changes, and how it's different, and, and hear really good accents, there is a channel I've been watching. It's called Crafting a Life with B F E E. Um when once this video uploads I'll, I'll link it down below and hyphy um i've been watching her binge watching her she does some paper crafting she has a huge craft room she and she does um thrift shopping and then she redoes stuff like she did a lamp and she took this um what i would consider hideous frame and did a um shabby chic thing to it with like chalk pink kind of sort of um it's gorgeous um She's run, redone planters. She's planting her garden. She's making food. She's doing recipes. And, like I said to her, she made a strawberry shortcake, but she baked it in the oven. Do you do that? I don't do that. Strawberry shortcake to us is like you chop up the strawberries, you clean them out, you haul them, you clean them out, you put them in a bowl, um, you mash up some if you want, you add some sugar, you leave them in the fridge overnight, and they get macerated and... Some people add balsamic vinegar, but they're raw. They're raw strawberries. And then we put them over, we put them over shortcakes. Her strawberry shortcakes like phyllo dough or a pie crust or, and she baked it. And she still put whipped cream on it, but it was different. You can learn some different things. So hi, V. Um, and I don't know if I forgot to talk about anything, but I do have to text whoever texted me back that cut the phone off in the first place. And I'm hoping that I can get the program to do this because I ain't doing this a third time so <laughs> it's just not gonna happen even though I don't work um but I think that's it and oh I do want to say don't send anything to my post office box because I haven't been there in a while and I think I only paid for three months and because I'm down to five dollars they're probably gonna dismiss that so I'm gonna go back through my other videos and take the post office box off but if you need to send me something just email me, madebymarshamom at gmail.com, and I'll give you my house address. Um, some of you have it. So, all right. So, love you guys. Please like and thank all the new subbies. And sorry about the ones that left because I lost some subbies. I don't know why, but it is what it is. But speaking of that, um, I haven't commented on people's stuff like um, Crest by the Rose and um, Terry and... Kim and Z and everybody, I uh, and Rose likes crochet. 
I've been watching everybody's videos, and I do. I go and grab my phone when I'm sitting on my butt so I can comment, but I've been watching everything from my Roku, and I can like your video, but I can't, I can't comment. So, unless my tablet or phone's sitting right by me and I'm watching you, so you get a double watch from me. But, um, I have been trying to only watch, besides my favorites that are over 5,000 subbies, but I've been trying to only watch people under 5,000 subbies to give them watch time, and I watch all your commercials. I don't skip them on my Roku because I'm crocheting or do doing whatever, but, um, um, giving you watch times, giving you likes from Roku, um, but I've decided that that's my goal for right now because the people with over 5,000 subbies, except for people like Terry, because I think she just hit over five grand, but anybody <laughs> that's not Terry, <laughs> that sounds so mean, but I'm trying to give the little people, you know, um, and I only have 24 hours in a day, and even though sometimes I'll play videos on my computer, on my tablet and on my Roku to give people watch time. <laughs> so I've done that. Um, so, but it's all me. Um, so anyways, long story short, um, I'm trying to do that. So if you, if the bigger channels who even, I don't, they're going to think they know who I am. So, um, I haven't been commenting on their stuff or even watching them because I'm trying to focus my time on the little people, my yarny friends and people like Fee. And then I do have to like get ideas like this. I have to get ideas from the internet, so I've been watching a lot of paper crafting channels. So, yeah, I hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing okay. Um, feeling a little bit mortal. Like, I figure I have 12 years left in my life because that's how the difference between me and my brother. Because it was like, when you come from a big family and you don't, you don't know how long people would have lived because of cancer and stuff like that. Like, if they didn't have cancer or they didn't have this or they didn't have, you know how long the family would live. We don't have a, life, a big life expectancy in my family. So now I'm like, do I only have 12 more years? And if I only have 12 more years, I have a lot of crafting to do. See what I'm saying? So, and 12 years will go by in a minute because I've been in Florida now for five. I think August 1st or 2nd is my fifth anniversary here in Florida because in my newsfeed on Facebook, all my moving pictures are showing up, five years old. So, yeah. I'm feeling very mortal. So we'll see when the, you know, no sounds rude. Because I'll have to see when the next sibling goes. Maybe it'll be an older one. I don't know. But anyways, love you guys. Don't want to be morbid. But, you know, I have an odd sense of humor. And it sounds horrible. But, and I, and I can't apologize for it. Because it's my family. And we're not the Waltons. And it's different. So, anyways, love you guys. See you later. Hi, Pat. Hi, Fee. Hi, Emmett. And who else am I forgetting to say hi to that watches me? Any stalkers? I don't know. <laughs> See ya.